Today we're testing out the new Daiwa Zillion SVG. See you at the first fishing spot. And we're here. Today is not just any kind of fishing trip, it's a very specific kind of fishing trip. And what we are doing today is testing out this brand new reel. It's so new that I still have a casting weight on it. So let's go ahead and select a twitch bait, like a mirror dine or something, and get it tied on there. Now, I will be fishing with other lures as well, and you'll see those when I pick them up. So make sure you watch the video all the way through. Great, and there's another freaking boat here like we got that other dude there and what's really good for fishing around other boats so you don't get close to them is a reel that can make a bomb cast like that Tatula 150 this way you can effectively fish a whole area without getting close to them and yeah, water temperature here 70 degrees that other guy just boated two trout but they're small let's pick up that zillion and see what it does Smooth as butter. That yeah, little fish. There we go. Man, on the New Zealand, baby. Oh, it's a little fish, though. First speckle trout on the New Zealion. Not bad. So that makes number one. We're gonna put him back in the water. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Captain Adams joined the mix. All right, so this guy, this other guy in a flatboat showed up and kicked my ass. My buddy Adams just shows up in his bay boat and is catching fish. And I'm sitting over here not doing anything. I'm watching fish bite, either bite other bait or bite other people's lures, but just not mine. It's so frustrating. I am I am looking for a bigger fish though, because I know right now is my shot at catching one. I'm, I'm about to throw in the towel and just go go to, go to where Adam's at. <laughs> like. So far, I have to say that my thoughts on the zillion is that it's like, a beefed up it's like a beefed up sv but in a smaller package it's a little smoother cast a little further and it weighs less it's 6.7 ounces and palms more like a 70. so uh palms more like a 70 size reel than a 100 size reel the sv i know the sv is a 100 size reel but it, it palms more like a 150. What the frick, Adam? There we go. Man, a zillion feels awesome. I think it's a small one though, or smaller one, like not something over 20 inches. Or maybe not, nah, it feels good. Oh no, it looks, it looks better. It's a better looking fish. Okay, wow. That's a better looking fish right there. Die Wazillion getting work done, baby. Sweet. All right, back to catching. Man, right away. Doesn't doesn't feel like a big one though. Yeah. 
Another fillet size trout. It's alright though, I'll take it. one feels a little bit better but not quite maybe what's nice about the zillion is that it clicks whenever it gives out drag you hear that so i have that audible click to work with i can get it down so that it is paying out drag with these uh fish that have softer mouths these speckled trout it's not a big one that's another school fish Another nice speckled trout. Okay, number four. Starting to slime up the zillion a little bit. He's finally leaving, thank God. That's a classic example of someone else being on the fish and you're not on him. Now, granted, I'm just shooting video. Well, I was gonna say, I don't need to catch fish, but neither does that guy. But I'm just shooting video, trying to catch stuff on the new zillion. And uh, it, I think this is a good opportunity to plug a big fish because this is when they start showing their faces. Nonetheless, it still burns so bad to sit there and watch him whack the bejesus out of the speckled trout. And there really isn't anything I can do it about it. It's, there's nothing I can do about it. It's even worse for me because I'm Captain Devin. Everybody knows this boat, <laughs> okay? Because they watch these videos. Finally, he's gone. It's just me and my buddy, Adam. Hey, Adam. Was that a redfish? No, it was a 22 inch trout. What? All right, me and Adam got to gossip like two little girls right now. I think he got 25. Yeah, he was waiting. He was like fishing for that last one. So yeah, it, it, it did it did dry up. I don't think it, it, it I, I, I don't know. I haven't been able to fish the spot I wanted to fish the whole time I was here. I came in on that little cut and uh, was just working my way over here real slow and he came in from from the other way, and as soon as he saw me, he just like rushed in. I would have like 20 something, if, if, I would have limited out. God, I've been waiting for that guy to go away. I can't be myself around other people. Adam, Adam's hooked up with another one. All right, so getting back to the, to the, to the Die Wazillion, what's cool about it, like most of Die Was Reels, is that it has this little handy dandy external brake adjuster. So you can make adjustments on the fly. So if I start casting in this direction, where the wind's coming from, I can adjust that brake so it breaks a little harder so it's easier to cast into the wind. I, he just flipped, he just both flipped the hammer. Dude, dude, stop catching the hammers. What color are you using? The color you normally use? It's that purple with the chartreuse stripe on his belly. Oh, oh, you're throwing a corky? Yeah, try to land in your belly. Oh yeah, yeah. See if you can't land the corky in the boat. He's gonna try and put the corky in my boat. <laughs> Dude, it landed right there. Yes, that's awesome. Dude, if you pulled the trout off off the trolling motor, I would absolutely have a stroke. All right, good luck, man. I'll let you know if I come across anything else. All right, speckle trout, just me and you now. Oh, that's what we want. Little tappy taps. Oh, God, that felt good. Man, not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. So I wanna show something to you here. You see how that fish is just barely hanging on? These suspending baits are really, really good for catching speckled trout, but 
just by the nature of being treble hooks and speckled trout have soft mouths, it's very easy for them to get off. And what's really cool about the zillion is it has that clickable drag. It has that clicking drag that lets you know drag is being paid out. So as soon as you hook into the fish, you can immediately back off onto it so you're a little more forgiving and you land the fish. Now, this isn't gonna make or break a fishing trip. It's something that kind of falls into like 3% theory. All right, girl, back in the water you go. Trout number five. This is a nicer one. Oh no, no. That's what I get. I tighten down the drag. That's what I get. Still good to get bit though. Oh my gosh, this can't, this cannot possibly be a trout. Or it's foul hooked. Felt like I just got hung up on a rock. It's gotta be a foul hook trout. Or a redfish. Yeah, because he would have come to the top and shake, shook his head if he wasn't foul hooked. You know, I, I'm scared to horse it because if it is a big trout, well, I don't want to horse it. But if it's a little ding a ling foul hook trout, then I, uh, I just kind of like to get this over with. And it is a foul hooked fish. Yeah. Try getting away, but those trebles got you. Man, sometimes I'd just rather be lucky than good. I'd rather be good. Let's get her back in the water. Speckle trout number six. Excellent. Ooh, that feels good. Not a big fish, so. And still a nice one nonetheless. Barely hanging on. Man. There we go. More nice speckle trout on the zillion. When you're seeing grass that looks like this is real healthy, that's what you want to be seeing. Don't want to be seeing nasty brown half day grass. You want to see good, clean, and green grass. That's new growth. Fresh spring aquatic grass. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this a redfish? Because it's kind of up against the shoreline. I thought I saw a redfish grab. Yeah, it's a redfish. Well, we'll see how the zillion does with this redfish right now. Oh, get off that line. Get off that. He's like hung up on a rusty piece of metal. It's like an old gate or something. It has an old, old padlock on it. All right, guys, the, the zillion has 11 pounds of drag and it's, this redfish is not pulling drag out at all or else you would hear it. Or else you would hear it and, and it isn't. That redfish is not pulling out drag at all. This goes back to my argument in the first preliminary look at the zillion. You don't need 20, 20 pounds of drag to fight a freaking redfish. That's ridiculous. Now, with that said, this is not like a monster redfish, right? 
This is a medium light rod. Boom. All right, so the zillion can handle redfish. Good to know. I didn't have any doubts that it would, but I wouldn't use it primarily for fishing for redfish. All right, I have to say overall, good day of fishing. I'm sure I could sit there and catch a limited speckled trout, but I gotta get home. Anyways, the purpose, the purpose of today was to go fish the zillion. And I would have to say that overall, I think it's an awesome reel. It does everything that the Tula SV does just better. It casts a little bit farther. It does it a little bit more smoothly. It weighs less and it's a smaller profile that's more palmable and easily fits in the palm of your hand. The clicking drag is pretty cool too. I say that if you're someone who plays their drag a whole lot, that's a future you're gonna find nifty. Is it worth $300? I'll tell you that if you are a artificial lure enthusiast, I say, I use air quotes because aren't all lures? Hey, Pelican. And I use, I use air quotes because aren't all lures artificial? But if that higher level of castability, if all the futures that are in that zillion is something that appeal to you and you are a hardcore artificial lure enthusiast, I'll say yes, it's a great investment. Don't get me wrong. I love my Tatula SVs, but the zillion sits a notch above and that's something I can appreciate. However, with that said, I am not done fishing it yet. What I need to do is pull a little bit lighter line onto it, put it on a jigging rod, tie on a jig, and see how it does for jigging speckled trout. That is overall my favorite way to catch them. Even though lately I've been on the suspending bait kick and uh, I mean, can you blame me? I would not use the zillion for targeting redfish. You can, and if you do hook into one, it'll, it'll get you out of that bind. But I wouldn't use it for like sight fishing or going after big bull reds. The Tatula 150 is a much better option for that. So that's my take on the zillion. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help. And if you'd like to be notified when the next one goes live, all you have to do is subscribe and ring that bell for all notifications. Thanks for watching and tight lines.